met a gypsy. Yeah, and so Weege brought this up on the show the other day. I don't know whether you saw the clip. I've never of watched it. the show, but I did see the hot take clips that, that were out there. Yeah, um, so he he made a really good point and everyone was so quick to blame Alden. Yes. Because you could see I sent it to Eldon. Oh, did you? Yeah. What was his take on that? Um he he really liked it. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, yeah. Because we've had that talk, you know, um, of you know, when things were yeah, when he basically was or was getting blamed for everything, you know, these guys retiring or, you know, get the burnout and all this other stuff. Yes, have have things changed and have have you know, has the training changed? Yes, and I know he's changed with that, but it comes down to, you know, living inside um winning four championships in a row yeah. like I did, MC, you know, Ricky, all Dunge, you know, all those guys going back to back. That's the really hard part, and that's mm. what we don't we don't have currently, you know, and 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 years consecutive years because that's the that's 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 the hard part. Yeah, and man, that's why Weege is one of the best. Like that's why Weege is the best in my opinion because that take is so good. It's I, I, so wise. It's and nice so to smart. See that out, you know, out there, um, not coming from like myself or, yeah. um, and maybe in an interview I wouldn't have been able to articulate, it yeah, in and the same portray way. that and, yeah. and say those things that way, you know. But now when he he hit the the nail on the head, in my opinion, um, I mean, dude, you get so fit on on the road bike and and in the gym and and on the motorcycle, like. You, and we don't, yes, we ride a lot, but like, that's not the, bur that wasn't really necessarily the burnout part. That's just like, you know, yeah, so you get burnout on, 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 man, I don't want to get up and ride my road bike today or whatever, but adding the racing on every single weekend, that's the hard part. And then being in it for 17 rounds for, mm. for a championship. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's just that so. the, the mental, cause uh, fuck the crowd's going to go wild here. Like jujitsu is that every day. There's like this ego battle that you have to win with yourself just to step in the door. Mm -hmm. And it's, it gets, that's the thing. Like physically, it sucks, but physically, you adapt. But mentally, it's almost the same battle every, like I drove to training last night, palms are all sweaty. I'm like a little bit anxious. I'm like, it's just, that's the thing that if you could get rid of that, you'd be, it would just be like a breeze to show up. So, that's just a loser dude going to a local jiu-jitsu club. So, like, just imagine the the pressure, the money that's on the line, the risks that you have to take that you might not want to take. There's just so many layers of complexity mm -hmm. that are added onto this extreme physical challenge that you have to put yourself through every fucking weekend. And it's against people that you've known since you are a kid. Like, there's so much that goes into it that i just i don't think people really fully grasp yeah i know it's definitely it, it it is you know from the outside looking in it looks pretty simple yes we train yeah. we ride we fly to the races and we and you know you race and, and you come back and you, and you do that all over every every single week um but yeah going down onto the floor you know every you know i think um levi levi just asked me in the truck um at pc he's like Hey, did you ever like not get nervous, like you know, going to the line? And I'm like, no, dude, it never goes away. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I had you know at the time, or you know, still, I still think is was one of the best trainers out there. I had Eldon, and we we were so ready. Um, and still, you go down and like, well, what's James been doing? Yeah. What's Chad? How good is Chad? Who's gonna show up tonight? You know, where's where's this guy at? You know, there was for me, it was two or three guys. It was Chad, James, and and Dunge. Um. You know, you still second guess and question if you're even, you know, if you're good enough. I think where the good guys can, you know, where 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 the good guys leave the rest of them on the gate is when the when it, when you do line up on the gate and gate drops, like the good guys don't think of. I mean, literally, you go blank. Yeah, there's you're not thinking of anything other than you're just you're basing your racing off reactions and and and. Um, repetition that you've done for so so long, you know. When you start to really try to think, then I think that's the that's where you leave those guys on the gate. Uh, do and do you think <clears throat> like so? There's a lot of people would compare you and Weimar, like same team, same trainer, same program, <clears throat> different results. And obviously, like it's not apples to apples, but people would famously say like mentally he just wasn't the same on race day as what ryan was like can you see 
stuff in him or other teammates or like where you go, okay, yeah, that's where I am different. Like you can, you know that he's thinking through the race or something. Like, do you have any comparison or? Mm, no, I mean, I think, yeah. Look, I worked out with Jake and we rode road bikes and, and all those things. And there was certain, <clears throat> you know, there was certain times and that he could be, you know, maybe better in the gym or better on this or better on that or whatever. But there was, I always knew that I, you know, for I'm using him as him as an exact example, like where I could break him and where I couldn't, you know, in certain days in the gym or certain things that were, that were like tough for him, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and I think he probably could see my weak points too. You know, when you're around somebody for so long and we train every day, it's like, oh, I, he's, he's, he's hating life right now or, yeah, and vice yeah. versa. He's like, you know, he's been around me and, and maybe I don't have as many chinks in the armor as he does, but like, he's like, RV hates this, you know, like he can't stand going to going to the gym or doing this or doing this workout or whatever. So you see all those, all those, um, you know, chinks for sure. Yeah. Do, do you think Alden got a bad rap over those few years? Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 For sure. Um, <clears throat> I think he, he definitely got a bad rap. I, I, uh, you know everything that I ever did with Eldon was yeah. Was it tough? Yeah, it was. It was tough. But what isn't in life? It's supposed you know, like, to be it's tough. It's supposed though, to be tough. Right? Like yeah. you know, like going, you know, working your desk job for thirty years is tough. You know, um, it's just tough in <clears throat> in a different timeline. You yeah. know, and it may not be as tough. But over thirty years, it's hard. Yeah. You know, or whatever. Like ours is, you know, very intense and short. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it really did set a light bulb off when Wage said that. Because I was like, man, that is the factor. Like. The pressure of, like, I could just see a world where you didn't want to win, but you just wanted to not lose. And that's so different, th the mentality of, like, if you've, you've won four in a row, the writing's on the wall that you can win, and then it, the project becomes, it stops becoming like, oh, I'm trying to win this thing. It's now becomes I'm trying to not lose, and mm -hmm. I feel like that's a way heavier cross to bear in a sense. Yeah, I think so for sure. No, I you know when you're when you're pushing forward, you know it's different. But when you're when you're you know playing defense almost, it you know it, it definitely is a different. And I don't know why we play. You know, like and I'm speaking for myself. I don't know why I played that position more of the defense. Like, um, it's just I think something that. You know, after a while, you I, for sure I know if I would have lost maybe year two or three mm. or whatever, um, or that you know the fourth one, potentially I don't know about the fourth one because my head was pretty far out already of of being done. You know, deciding to retire. But if I would have you know not done two or three, potentially that could have changed the trajectory of 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 my racing career maybe yeah. a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, and I think the bike change is massive too because it does set up a whole new set of kind of parameters that and things that you've got to like work on. And I guess like when Eli switched to Yamaha, that expectation of just like going on winning probably wasn't there in the same way, even though that's... I think the strategy is different. Like, hey, we're new bike, new team. We got to start off, you know, not slow, but like, you know, let's be in this championship fight at the very end instead yeah. of like, you know, coming into Anaheim one, like, oh, here it goes again. We, they're all chasing after me, you know, and I, and it still, they were still chasing after him when he changed, but from his, yeah. his mind, yeah. he's like, Hey, this is a long series. I need to figure this motorcycle out or figure the team out. Let's, you know, we, we need to get our feet wet first before we go out and just blow the doors off everybody. Yeah. You know, and if it happens right away, great. And if it doesn't, I'm here for the long haul. So it's a, a different way of approaching. Yeah, the like race. a different way of playing the same game mm -hmm. almost. And it just is like a completely fresh take on the same game in a sense. Mm -hmm. We're excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.